fed up with little SUVs that talk the talk but can't walk the walk? Here's one you'll like, Suzuki's Jimny, an ultra compact 4x4 with genuine character. This fourth generation version, like its predecessors, uses a proper ladder frame chassis and delivers proper off-road ability. Just don't expect it to be cultured on tarmac. Built for Ben Nevis, bought in Belgravia. As an extra car for the wilds at weekends, we think it'd be just about perfect. Let's get this straight. If you've no intention of ever going off-road, don't bother with this Suzuki. You'll hate it within the first half a mile. The low speed ride crashes over bumps and the tall slab sided shape rolls its way through the bends. Uh, to be fair, this version is better in this regard than the previous one, but that's not saying an awful lot. On the plus side though, there's only 1,135 kilos of mass to roll about and the steering does give you some sort of idea of what's going on beneath you. Power this time around comes from a 1.5 litre normally aspirated petrol unit uh, offering 101 PS and a top speed of just 90 miles an hour. Uh, choose this 5 speed manual model rather than the alternative 4 speed automatic and an unremarkable 35.8 mpg is quoted on the WLTP rated combined cycle along with 154 grams per kilometer of any DC rated CO2. Off-road of course this Jimny feels uh, immediately much more at home. It's no exaggeration to say that it can get to places that larger, pricier and more sophisticated SUVs couldn't think about. Lightweight will do that for you. Uh, Suzuki's mission statement with this model line to make the one and only small lightweight four-wheel drive vehicle remains credible thanks to the engineering that lies uh, beneath the bodywork here. You're offered two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive and four-wheel drive with a low range gearbox mode and you get a ladder frame chassis, three link rigid axle core spring suspension and an electronic traction control system which automatically brakes a spinning wheel to redistribute torque asymmetrically across the axle. To all this, Suzuki has also added fresh tech such as hill hold and hill descent control, plus a range of camera driven driver assistance safety systems, all of it intended to make this car even more capable than before. There's no doubt about it, this is a proper little 4x4, designed more for the mud than the metropolis, with flared wheel arches, bulky side panels and a tailgate mounted spare wheel all there to reflect its rugged personality. It's an iconic formula. From the side you'll get more of a feel for the way the dimensions of this car have changed this time around. I mean heck it is short. Suzuki's trimmed 30 millimeters from the body length of this fourth generation model and it measures in at less than 3.5 meters and it makes this Jimny about the size of a tiny city runabout. Uh, intentionally so uh, to allow this 4x4 in its home market to fit into the Japanese Kai car urban model category. Uh, that means it's considerably shorter than more conventional small SUVs, although it is closer to them in terms of width and height thanks to uh, being 45 millimeters wider and 20 mils higher than its predecessor. Well, the cabin certainly feels very spacious thanks to the extra body width, the exceptionally high roof height and a 40 millimeter increase in the seat hip point. And as ever in a Jimny, it's focused around straightforward down-to-earth practicality. All the fixtures and fittings are unapologetically finished in dark, hard, wipe clean plastic. Although there are a few exposed Allen bolts to impart a Jeep-like vibe. Uh, you're positioned high and commandingly on redesigned seats with wider cushion frames that help uh, better absorb off-road bumps and shocks. Uh, through the steering wheel, which uh, still doesn't adjust for reach, you view a clear set of permanently lit instruments and on this plusher SZ5 variant you get this 7 inch smartphone link infotainment touchscreen for the DAB audio system and that also includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. Okay time to take a seat in the rear. Uh, once you're in, there's actually a surprising amount of space given this car's tiny exterior dimensions. There's certainly enough for a couple of adults on shorter trips anyway. 
Uh, the boot is accessed by a side opening tailgate which swings open to reveal the tiny cargo area that the diminutive exterior dimensions would lead to expect. There's just 85 litres of space on offer, although being able to reset the 50-50 uh, split rear seat backrests into a more vertical position certainly helps free up a few extra inches. Uh, push them forward completely and a decent 377 litre capacity is opened up. And in summary, well, it certainly helps that this time around the Jimny doesn't have to try to simultaneously appeal to families as well as farmers in the way that previous versions tried and failed to do. These days, Suzuki has a whole portfolio of more tarmac-orientated SUVs if you'd like four-wheel drive, but you need a less agricultural feel on tarmac. But these won't give you the live axles, the low-range gearing, and the sort of rough road readiness that this car offers. Nothing else remotely near this Jimny's price point does. It's authentic, it's classless, and for loyal buyers, it represents everything a small 4x4 ought to be.